All right, guys, so I got the finish off. I had to use the sander on the top. And uh, I got everything taped off. I'm about to start the French polish. Got it taped off right here and around the neck. I don't want to get the French polish on the back of the neck because it's already kind of has a finish on it. And I really don't want to mess with that because it's very difficult to get around the heel. So, we got everything off. The back came off pretty easy. Now, I made uh, a small piece of tape for this bridge because I don't want to polish over where the bridge has to glue. So, what I did was just take a piece of tape, trace it to the, um, the bridge, and then actually make it just a little bit smaller than the bridge. And then I put the bridge back on top of it and poke two holes to make sure that nothing is going to stick out because I don't want there to be gaps like that little gap right there. Dang, I hate that. Yeah, I might have to take that off and maybe cut that down a little bit. All right. So I made my little pad with some old cotton. It was an old t-shirt. I got some cotton balls in here. Anybody can make that. I mixed my Stumac shellac flakes and I did a two pound cut. Now I'm gonna load this, uh, this pad and we'll just put a base coat on. All right, I got the pad loaded. Here goes nothing. So I don't quite think uh, I have enough on here. I really feel like I need to put a little more on the pad because it's already starting to get a little sticky. And it's not quite sliding. As you can see, it's picking up some stain. So I got a base coat on the back. Now I'm gonna move on to the sides. Okay, so I'll let that base coat dry for about three hours. Now I'm just trying to build it up. I made a bigger pad and uh, I'm starting to use a little bit, just a little bit of olive oil. Uh, I find without the olive oil, it's definitely harder to move the pad. But as you can see, I'm already starting to develop a pretty nice shine, but I'm nowhere near finished. So I just put uh, a little bit of shellac on. I used the little Stumac droppers. I actually had a two pound cut but I mixed another cup of alcohol and I made it a lighter cut because I, f I think it's probably gonna be easier to build this up in thinner layers than it's going to be with a two pound cut. So I went ahead and mixed another cup of alcohol. I'm using 190 Everclear. I mixed another cup of alcohol in and, uh, and I'm using a little bit of olive oil slowly building this up not trying to let the pad stop going in different motions going this way i'm just working on the back right now instead of flipping the guitar all kinds of different ways just trying to cover everything You can see a vapor trail, like they were talking about in other videos. That olive oil really helps. A little bit of olive oil, just a few dabs. 
to really help that pad slide. What I do is I just put a little bit on my finger. I just put a little bit of olive oil on my finger and dab it on the pad. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for a while. That's looking pretty good. Uh, has a couple of coats, I lost count. Let me just go ahead and let it sit for a little bit. Let's see if I can pick this camera up on the tripod. It's a pretty good little shine going. Like I said, I'm just going to probably let that dry and then maybe do the sides and then the top and then let it sit till tomorrow. I got my shellac mixture right here. That's the Stumac Blonde shellac flakes. A little bit of olive oil here. Put my pad in there. I used Everclear. And that's about it. Got the little pipettes to load the pad. Other than that though, I think it's going pretty good for an amateur. I'm not a professional. I just do this stuff for fun, guys. This is a lot easier to work with than lacquer, that's for sure. All right, I'll keep you posted. Okay guys, I finally finished my French polish. Uh, I've been working on this for the last three months off and on. I started over a couple of times. This guitar came out a lot better than the last one I did. I had some negative comments. People said, oh, you ruined your guitar. Dude, I buy these guitars, they're mine to do what I want with them. So, you know, you can keep your negative comments to yourself. The thing is, the more guitars you do, the better you'll get. This one is, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this one came out. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to take the other one that didn't come out so good. And I'm going to start over with that one. So, I just did the final buff out. Looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's going to sound a lot better. I kind of like the old world look of it. Mahogany's got a great color to it. Shellac just makes wood look different than the, a lot of the two-part catalyzed finishes that they spray in on stuff these days. This is definitely a learning experience. It's my first guitar. Yeah, it's not perfect. I know people probably say, oh, you run your guitar. But I mean, I didn't pay a whole lot for this guitar and it already had some chipping damage. Uh, a lot of the original finish was all chipping off at the bottom anyway. So I feel like I got this guitar at a really good price. Um, it did have a crack in the back too, which I had filled. Somebody in California had this guitar and they left it unhumidified. It, it did have a split. So I had that feel, but you really can't even tell. 
three piece mahogany back. So to get it to the high gloss wet look on the final thing, I use the Stumac kit and it's the, uh, the micro mesh kit. I think it was like 30 bucks or something and it comes with all of these. Now I didn't use, I didn't go up in steps cause I didn't really have to. I felt the finish was smooth enough for my tastes. So to really just after my last coat of French polish, I let the guitar sit for two weeks. The only ones I used was 8,000 and then 12,000. And then I used this, which you, I think I got this stuff from Amazon to really get it, to, to really get it like really shined out. This is a very, very light abrasive. So you just put a little bit on a, on a towel and go in circles and then you take another towel and wipe it off. Let's see which one I used. I believe it was this one. Yeah, this one here. It's pink. Number, step number one. This one here, I didn't use this because it's a lot thicker. This one's like, I don't know, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty coarse, so I didn't even want to try that. I started over on the top like twice. So there we go. French polish. Now I just got to get the bridge put back on and my pickup put back in. Here's some more videos in the sunlight. I could look at this guitar forever in the sun, man. Stunning. Mahogany just has the most beautiful color. I mean, all tone ones have beautiful color. But it's just like the way that that, lack, that shellac makes it look. These pictures are going to even do it justice. <sighs> Stunningly beautiful. <laughs> 